Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Roitos phone holder metal tripod mount. Not much to it, but let's get straight to it because I mean it doesn't really come with anything, it's just the mount itself. So first, of course, we're going to start with the design and construction. The construction right off the bat, very solid. Immediately noteworthy, especially for this price range, is that it's all metal. It feels like a nice machined aluminum or maybe it's die cast, who knows. But you can see it's nice and clean and it has a nice finish on it. Some cutouts for weight saving, not that that's a big issue with a, with a device like this. Um, in the jaws, spring loaded, and again the whole mechanism, slider mechanism, is metal. Which makes it super nice and smooth and very little play. Um, but yeah, the jaws, I don't know if you can tell, I don't even know if it will focus. But inside there you have some foam or rubbery material so that your phone doesn't get scratched. So that's immediately a super nice touch. And to give you an idea of what else you might find in this price range, this piece is a little bit cheaper, but it's similar. This one happens to be made by a loon, but not to call them out or anything. You know, um, this is standard for what you're going to find in this price range. You're going to have something like a screw mount where you have to tighten it down, endless fitting to tighten it on your phone. Of course, it's all plastic other than these little mounting holes, which are for the screw to screw into. I don't know if you can tell, I screwed it a bit too tight and it failed. The plastic actually failed. So now when I tighten it too tight, it just cracks open and it won't tighten. So that's why you don't get a plastic mount, even though it may be tempting because of the price. This again is very reasonably priced and it's full aluminum, so this definitely won't be happening. And just you know, the feel every day of using it, if not the durability, although durability certainly is also a factor, you can just see that flex in the mechanism, not the mechanism, but rather just the actual body. Now taking a look at this, I mean, you're not going to flex that in a million years. It's so, well, that's the ball head, but it's just nice, solid, full metal. So that's super, super, super nice right from the beginning. Super good first impression, and it's really nice to use. Now the construction, of course, as with any product, is not fully perfect. There is one tiny little pet peeve of mine that's noteworthy, and that's that, you probably can't tell, but right there, it actually screws in to this phone holding piece. So the body has a screw that goes in here. And that screw, when you try to rotate this, as like on the ball head, it tends to unscrew itself and come loose. Instead of rotating the mechanism, you'll just unscrew the whole thing. So I found that just putting a little bit of thread lock around there, you can use either temporary, which is blue, or permanent, which is red. Or if you're 100% sure that it's going to be permanent, although I don't recommend this, you can even go for something like super glue. But it, as I said, there's a lot of remedies. It's super easy to fix, so certainly not a big deal. And I mean, if you don't mind it, you don't even have to apply anything at all. On the base plate here, you can see it's attached with two screws to the body. Nice hex screws, and as you can see, you've got two mounting positions, quarter inch threaded, for your standard tripod, it's the same hole that you're going to find on um, the bottom of your camera. On the back here, you're going to have your ball head adjustment. and this ball head is super super cool. This is the standout feature of this device. Like just being metal for this price, I think it right now retails for about 15 to 17 bucks, is already a big deal because most of the metal ones start coming in at like 20, 30, something like that. But this one is full metal and it has a ball head which nothing else on the market that I know of has. Now of course you may be thinking why do I need this? My tripod has a ball head. Well first of all, um, if your tripod is on, let's say, a sliding, or not sliding, but rather a panning head, which is used for video, the fluid pan head, then this comes in super handy for leveling shots, things like that, or just when you need a stationary shot. Because this gives you lots of range of motion, which that cannot offer. And even if you are on a ball head, it can be nice to just adjust this, so that when you switch this out and mount your actual camera on it, your actual ball head of the tripod will still be in the same position. Now this feels super high quality, as you'd expect, just like the rest of the unit, it's full metal, feels really, really smooth. Tighten it back up, 
nice bright red anodized aluminum screw which feels super nice in the hand. There's a little bit of texturing on here to help you get a grip on it. I do feel it could use a bit more aggressive texturing just because sometimes, you know, I kind of struggle to unscrew it and stuff like that. So just don't dive in it too much and you shouldn't have an issue with that. And of course, as you can probably tell, you have gorgeous looking markings for loose and tight. So overall, the design and build and just overall construction of this, 10 out of 10. I mean, you aren't going to find anything better than this. Ball head, super big advantage. Now, as I said earlier, the mounting mechanism is simple and fast. No thumb screws or magnets to fiddle with, just a simple spring-loaded clamp. It'll fit a variety of sizes and easily fits my iPhone 10. Unlike some cheap plastic models, the slider feels nice and smooth with a satisfying feeling spring that doesn't catch or bind. The feel of precision also continues here with very little play in the mechanism. Small details like this make for both long-term reliability and satisfaction of use. So overall, I really have to say that this item represents an incredible value. A quick look on Amazon reveals that most products in this price range, as I touched on earlier, are plastic, with metal ones often reaching up into the 20s and 30s. The additional standout feature of an integrated ball head just seals the deal. How could I not recommend such a nearly flawless product? For anyone interested, I'll have a buy link in the description below, which being an affiliate link, I'd really appreciate if you'd use that if you do plan on making a purchase because it does help me out at no extra cost to you. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.